Well, it is Thursday. Time to go on the docket with KMIR News legal analyst John Patrick Dolan tonight. Stun belts in the Supreme Court, weapon permits in California, plus developments on the Pinion Pines murders and more. Of course, John, welcome. Thanks for being here. Indeed. Let's get started with Pinion Pines murders, a cold case. Seven and a half years now, three people brutally murdered, set on fire up in the small community in Pinion Pines. The case now going to a grand jury. Pretty rare. Usually the district attorney's office would simply file a complaint, go out and arrest people, and begin the prosecution. So this is a little bit of a touchy case, and I think this is one of those special occasions. Mostly they use these kinds of grand juries in the state system and political corruption, but a touchy case is sometimes how they use a grand jury. You bring in some citizens, you impanel a grand jury, you present a case to them, and they indict the individuals rather than the district attorney's office directly indicting the individuals. Once the grand jury gets impaneled, it takes a day or two. The presentation is made only by a prosecutor. There aren't allowed, defense lawyers are not allowed in the room. And as they used to say, uh, a grand jury would generally indict a ham sandwich. So probably once a grand jury gets impaneled, if they have targets and they go after some targets, you'll see some indictments coming down. Which also means arrest warrants will be issued? Yes, indeed. And they don't unseal the indictment until after they've sort of um, gotten their uh, surveillance in place and are ready to go ahead and apprehend the folks that they end up indicting. But if they foresee an indictment coming down, it seems like they would already have that in place, right? So arrests could happen pretty soon thereafter. That's true, although if a person saw an indictment coming down, they might not be here, um, would be the other thing. But I'm, I know you're talking about law enforcement. It's just right, the people right. that expect they might be indicted might be looking for a place to live elsewhere. At least that's many times what happens. All right. Okay, let's talk about these uh, weapon permits here in California. I understand uh, the rules have changed quite a bit. Ninth Circuit uh, passed down a decision, and we're covered by the Ninth Circuit here in the federal uh, Ninth circuit that essentially said you don't have to give a special reason why you want a concealed weapon permit. You have a right to have a concealed weapon permit as long as you qualify. You can't be crazy and you can't be a felon, etc. And so every county in California now is being deluged with requests for concealed weapon permit. It used to be, by the way, that you'd say, well, I own a jewelry store and uh, I have this need to carry cash and so that's why I need the weapon. And you give a long story and many times also a donation to the sheriff that was running in the county <laughs> and then you would get a concealed weapon permit. Mm -hmm. It looks like now um, somebody, either the county of San Diego where this case originated or the state attorney general is going to appeal this Ninth Circuit decision. So we may, may see a uh, United States Supreme Court case. Very interesting. All right, quickly tell me about this stun belt. Uh, it's now an issue. Uh, 1999 case, the guy gets convicted of the right. death penalty in downtown Riverside. They're wearing a stun belt or they make him wear a stun belt because they're afraid he might try and escape from the courtroom. If you move quickly, 50,000 volts, it'll knock you down. So um, the lawyers for the person say, look, this guy was nervous, anxious. He couldn't cooperate with his lawyers. It really ruined his opportunity to have a fair trial. Supreme Court of California said, you're right. Stun belts are bad. However, we call this harmless error, meaning you're still convicted. So that's no his more, conviction stands. His conviction stands, but no more stun belts for anybody in the state oh. of California. All right. John, thank you very much for your insight. Always a pleasure. Indeed, Elizabeth.